Hello everybody and welcome back to another tutorial on the Magnite uh, 787-9 uh, aircraft. Um, and so today is going to be an FMC uh, slash FMS um, slash CDU um, tutorial, how to program it. Um, this is the default one in the 787, um, uh, so there's no currently uh, a custom uh, FMC um, in the Magnite, but it's coming soon. Anyway, um, so I hope this is very helpful. Um, everything, um, lots of useful stuff is in the description below. So let's take a read and uh, you can follow along with the flight. Um, and I hope this really helps. And as always, if you have any requests for any tutorials, um, anything you want want to learn, um, and yeah, any thoughts on the video, just uh, don't forget. And um, like the video. Um, if you like the content, um, subscribe. Um, so, um if you enjoy so today we are in today we're in uh melbourne international um on a th theoretical uh flight um into sydney um and so we're going to come down here this is only for the cdu tutorial um so if you're looking for anything else maybe check out my um cold and dark tutorial on the top right um now um and more more tutorials coming up anyway um so i'll get abby tab up here so you can see our routing so this is all um as you can see we're on the latest alpha which is alpha 17 um you don't have to be on that um just be unstable so this is currently um, cus um currently default so there is no you don't have to put in the weighting you don't have to put in the cost index everything like you would have to do in the zebo so it's very nice and simple it's literally it's literally just the um the routing that's all you have to put in um and yeah um and here you um put in the various frequencies so um say um for the ILS uh you would put it in uh the nav nav one and two uh the same frequency and then for ATC you put it in the com one and two um and then here's the squawk um etc um and here's the um is the course um and then you'd um hold yeah, I'll do that um, later. Anyway, this is a simple tutorial. Um, hope you um, hope this is helpful. Um, so here we are on stand um, in Melbourne. So I'm just gonna go. This uh, this is in brief document uh, is linked in the description below, so you can follow it. Um, and so here's our um, routing today. It's nice and short. Um, so we'll go ahead and type it in. So use these buttons. Uh, it's the left of the CDU. Um, but I sometimes find that um, this, the CDU here, um, doesn't work. So if that is the case, just use the right one. Um, but there's some still some bugs on here. So immediately, um, as soon as this one works, just um, just use that because um, there is some bugs that um, with laminar and stuff. It's not magnite's issue. But yeah, um, so try and use the left one because that's the best one. I'm just gonna get the speed brake out of the way. Um, so we can actually see what we're doing. So, so we're just going to put in. This is um, very simple. So uh, Yankee, um, yeah, exactly. It's not working there. So we just use the, just use the right one. So um, Yankee, um, Mike, Mike, uh, Lima, and then we just put it in this one right where it is uh, literally just like in the zebo and in any other default airliner plane um in x plane um and then the we just put in the destination which is uh yankee sierra sierra uh yankee and then the flight number for today i've just put as um ual uh, which is uh united because we are uh, technically flying uh united today um and yeah, this week breaks out. Cause, yeah. Um, and so we're coming on here again. Um, and we just put the flight number today, um, UAL, and I just put the date. You can use any any random number in real life. So um, zero seven four because it's the seven seven fourth um, April. The time of writing this. Uh, we won't execute that. we uh, not yet. Yes, anyway, and then immediately after you've put in the origin and destination, this is optional, but it just gives us um, that um, up there, so it's helpful. Um, so immediately after you put in the origin and destination, 
you go to departure arrival this is what this stands for and then you go to departure and then uh you put in the various um you put in the this the runway and then the sid um it has to be in that order the runway and then the sid so taking off today from runway uh, 3 4 and then um we flank this sid so if you can't see it just go next page next page and scroll through them all um, but if you still can't see it, um, it may be an issue with like Navigraph or something. I don't actually have Navigraph. Um, so, but just choose a SID that's closer to it, that's closest to um, the one there, uh, the one in the flight plan. So immediately after that, we go to route again, or you can click flight plan there. Um, and then you can just go to next page. Uh, these buttons do exactly the same thing as on there. So if you see me pressing this and that, and that and that then yeah it's just the same um and so and then we'll just put in the routing here so we'll put in the airway which is uh yankee um 59 and then that that is correct it is disc on um so that you replace that by so this is the airway um i will make eventually make a tutorial on how to make a flight pattern this is uh, in sim brief um, and this is the OFP, so um, that's really all you can use, um, which is useful part. Um, so make sure you download, or you don't have to download, just view it online or something. Um, anyway, and then we, so this is the airway, um, this is the waypoint. So we're just going to put in the waypoint, uh, which is Revit. It's an alphabetical keyboard, so I, even I sometimes struggle. Um, trying to find them and then immediately after you put in the routing so normally this would be much um, much more full and uh, had you know you can see you can have a big paragraph of it um, so it can take a while but um, this is just a short one for demonstrations of um, of this tutorial and immediately after you put in the, the routing uh, you go to and then you go to arrival make sure you click the right arrival because <laughs> always you screw up your flight plan um, and then you set select the star uh, first, so I'm just going to go next page and until I um, find one, which is uh, Rivet 3. And exactly, yeah, it's not here. Um, just going to check that. So you just select the closest one, which is uh, obviously Rivet uh, 2, because it's, yeah, we're flying very similar. And we'll do um, an ILS uh, 34. Uh, left arrival and so you just selected that and here uh, you can select any approach you want so we could do a glide but actually we can't because it's not yeah we can so we can do um, a GLS approach um, and LANAV approach um, etc it's lots of different approaches so we're just gonna uh, I'm not gonna demonstrate that now um, we're just gonna do um, an ILS 34 uh, left approach right uh, yeah into um, 34 left and then we just go to our uh, legs and then we're just going to check that everything this is really key here you need to check before you execute it you need to check there's no discons because otherwise yeah if it's if it's like right here you can't you have to go direct to and yeah it's just just gets a bit hairy so um, you just go through the pages using the next page and then exactly there's a discon uh, here so you just see why I did that you just click click here, click on the waypoint, and then you just go to disk on it, just click there, and it'll paste it, um, and delete the disk on, um, and we'll just delete that vector as well, because we don't need that, um, so, yeah, and I'm just slowly through, um, and everything is all good, and then just to check, which I like doing, um, just to check that everything's okay, um, it doesn't have VNAV, because we haven't put in some stuff, um, so just to check, you can, I'm just going to go up to the captain's side. And get rid of Avi tab. Uh, so just to check, you can just click. That's the wrong one. Uh, you can just click here to go to plan. Uh, this is just like in any other aircraft. And you just go to legs again. So um, we, yeah, we're just going to execute it. Um, and then we'll see. Uh, there we go. Um, anyway, um, so you go... Just step through, so just click set step. Um, and you can see here on the MFD, uh, the multi multifunctional flight display, 
um, here and he just clicks step and you can see all the routing visually there that you will be flying along um, as you carry out your flight so yeah you can see the routing here and there's a uh, landing there that's the wrong way and so yeah nice and then there's the missed approach um, if we were going to take it um, so there we go there we've executed it so now we're going to put in the vnav um, stuff so we get vnav stuff um, and we'll be able to use uh, vnav here um, the mcp is autopilot uh, so we're just going to put in the cruise altitude which uh, today we're just going to check on sim brief again so you go to the first page and then it's right here so uh, flight level uh, 390 today so i um, just going to put in um, so um, flight level um, 3390 you can see it's coming up here and then we just um, press here and then if it comes up with any errors any errors whatsoever it will delete the um, the VNAV stuff so and then so you just fix the issue so say um, say we had an issue um, say it was unable at um, it's I know six thousand um blah 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 de blah waypoint um a random waypoint um then we would then we'd either adjust first thing to do is adjust the cruise altitude so you do that in two thousand um steps so um in our case we would I would first of all try uh, flight level four one zero um if that didn't work if it still came up with errors I'd try flight level uh, 370 don't go 380 or 4 400 um, and so um, and if you still haven't fixed that don't go that low uh, below um, you would um, actually check um, here in the legs page and then you could actually edit a waypoint um, and um, so you would go um, dash dash I know um, so tar so so we had an error here um, we would go um, dash flight level and we could change it accordingly um, so we could do 200 and it would just change it here see there you go yeah I'm just gonna change that back so what was it flight level two three three Right, so, um, yeah, so um, VNAV um, is in, uh, here we go, you could direct to, um, if there are any problems, uh, if you're coming off on a heading, so ATC is giving you a heading, you would go, immediately go um, to direct to, and we're just going to change that to back from plan, uh, to map, so we can see where we're going, we would set the departure heading, um, and then we'd set the cruise altitude here, um, so, and you just use your scroll wheel away. So, uh, three, there we go, much easier, and, um, everything's good here, um, so, yeah, this is not a tutorial on how to start the aircraft, because there is another one, um, on my channel, um, so, so, uh, here you hold, um, hold at, and then you just put the waypoint, um, in here, um, and program page, um, yeah, this is another thing to check, so to check that, your all your ETAs in and your distances. Um, if you don't have that, then you probably have a VNAV uh, issue. So just check on the legs um, again um, and the VNAV. Um, and you just go previous page. And then um, I like to put uh, two three zero slash uh, five thousand. So we'll just insert a restriction there. So we are all good. Oh, you don't need to worry about the trans I'll shoot. Um, uh, so program page, I uh, don't need to use any of this um, that much. Um, and so everything's uh, in here. Go legs for, and then um, everything should be working here now. Yeah. So I would go program page here, um, and then um, we'd taxi out and um, get everything up and um, take off. So um, that's that's the end of um, the tutorial for today. Um, hope you um enjoyed um well um hopefully it was helpful um and like i said um, if you have any requests for any um tutorials anything um you'd like to 
you, do, you don't know how to do um, or need some tips on, just um, just put it in the, descri in the comments below um, and I'll get around and make one. Um, so um, just an extra thing. Uh, so you can change this uh, to systems, uh, CDU. Um, so this is, um, that's the checklist. Um, and it's like so on here. Um, you can put the CDU up here if you really wanted to. Um, but uh, yeah, just get it on here. So um, you can have it, you can customize it as, um, as you want. Um, but yeah, so you can change it around. Um, if you can't get it back, just um, just press CDU here. Uh, yeah, and it, sh it should all be good. You can have, any, you can have the ND done. No, you can't. Um, <laughs> anyway, um, so that's it for today. I um, hope it was helpful. Um, um, and don't forget to give us a like on the video um, and um, maybe um, a subscribe um, and yeah, hope you enjoyed. See you next time. Goodbye.